here with Ben McLaughlin, going to talk with him about his campaign for judge. Hi, my name is Ben McLaughlin. I'm running for Humboldt County Superior Court Judge. What inspired this? Sure. Um, I hadn't really considered it until about mid-November. Uh, I was driving home from a hike at the Headwaters. I got a call from somebody who I respect a great deal in the legal community uh, asking me if I would consider running. I told that person that I probably wouldn't, but I would think about it. Um, I went home and I spoke with my, uh, my family. And my family was very supportive of the idea. So okay. I called the person back and I told them I'd do it. Just like that? Just like that. Yeah. Well, my opponent's name is Steven Stewart. Um, he's been at the DA's office for about five years. I think he's been an attorney uh, for 13 years. Okay. So the previous eight years he was a defense attorney out of the area. Uh, we're losing a judge in Chris Wilson uh, with about 30 years judicial and legal experience. So I think I'm more qualified based on my 23 years of experience, 17 years of which have been devoted to either prosecuting or defending uh, in the criminal justice system. I've spent since 2007 here locally in Humboldt County. Um, I've tried rape cases, I've tried murder cases, I've tried three strikes cases, and I've defended life cases. Um, that kind of experience will help me run a courtroom more efficiently from day one, I hope. Okay, yeah. Um, well, and also, can I, can I, oh, yeah. I just wanted to add, sure. also, like, um, in addition to the, the 17 years I've had in the, in the criminal justice system, I've also practiced civil law uh, for about five years, including some family law. Oh, okay. I did not know you did family law. Okay. Um, to say I did family law is kind of an overstatement. I ha I've had a few family law cases. Okay. Uh, I'm not unfamiliar with the process. Uh, uh -huh. Certainly, I would have a lot to learn. Okay, because that kind of, you almost answered my next question, maybe, which was going to be what area of law are you interested in presiding over if you, I don't know if you have a choice in that or if they kind of shoo you into one department or another, but if you can give me some, some insight on where you would prefer to be, where you feel most comfortable, or where you think you might end up. Well, I think I'll end up based on anecdotal information uh -huh. in family law to start. Okay. Um, my preference would be based on just my experience of almost 20 years would be criminal court. Uh -huh. I think that uh, my transition into that court would be seamless pretty much. Um, you know, I've been doing it every day essentially for the last 17 years. And uh, not so much family law, but I also look forward to the intellectual exercise of, of learning. Uh -huh. That's part of the reason I'm also running. Um, and I know you have a lot of experience locally in criminal defense, so um, considering your experience with criminal defense and also in the DA's office, um, I'm wondering what shortfalls of the local judicial system do you feel are challenging public defense attorneys? Well, I think right now in terms of challenges facing the defense side, um, and it isn't a, a product of anybody involved in the court system so much as we're still recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, before the pandemic hit, we used to intervene cases, meaning we'd have a hearing or an informal get-together gathering with the attorneys in the court. Prior to the preliminary examinations, the sides would exchange offers. Um, that hasn't happened since um, COVID-19, and I think that's causing a lot of heartburn uh, at the preliminary hearing calendar. It causes a lot of congestion. Uh, lots of cases are not resolving. They're getting set for trial when they otherwise would have resolved. Oh. Um, but I'm hopeful that that'll go. It'll return to the way it used to be. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then following up on that, what improvements at the county courthouse do you think um, would behoove the local judicial process? Just kind of smooth, smooth out the flow. I know there's some kinks in the process. Well, I think that... Um, just in terms of what the courts can do, yeah. uh, it's rather limited at the moment. Uh, homeless court is no longer a, a thing. Uh, the Garberville Courthouse has been closed. Um, so the courts are congested, and it's, and it's for reasons that I'm not privy to, quite frankly. 
Um, but just in terms of overall congestion in the criminal calendar, um, you know, it's also a product of Humboldt County funding. Um, there are clients who would be eligible for mental health diversion, for example, um, based on mental health issues, including substance abuse, uh, who aren't being diverted because DHHS doesn't have the clinicians available um, or the funding available to hire more clinicians to accommodate the clients. What we're seeing is a lot of um, congestion based on the fact that certain defendants who might otherwise be eligible for mental health diversion uh, have to stay in the criminal justice system uh -huh. rather than diverting out of it for a period of two years. Um, another thing that I've heard about in my discussions with uh, the Yurok tribe, uh, specifically Judge Abby um, and prosecutor, Yurok tribal prosecutor Rosie Deck, um, is the, the county and the tribe are working on an MOU um, to create a tribal court where the Yurok tribe can um, prosecute misdemeanors and low-level felonies. Uh, that would be wonderful. Um, that would take a, a number of cases out of the Superior Court in, in Eureka. Uh, the Yurok tribe, from what I understand, has a lot of resources available to help uh, the indigenous tribal members. Um, I'm not privy to the terms and conditions of the MOU, and I don't know um, how much the court would be involved in that. Okay. But in theory, uh, I think it's a wonderful idea. Okay. So then, um, was Wilson, Judge Wilson primarily doing civil and criminal, right? My experience with Judge Wilson is that he did criminal law for almost my entire time here. Uh-huh with the exception of several years when I think he went over to family law. But that might be that might be wrong. Um, but my recollection is he's, he's primarily done criminal. That's how I've practiced in front of him. Um, he's my home court judge now, um, so I am sad to see him go, and um, he does, he's gonna leave big shoes to fill. Yeah, yeah. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> okay, well thank you for speaking with us. Um, anything to add? No, thank you for coming. All right, no problem. Um, June 7th, right? That's the primary? June 7th, get out and vote, regardless of who you vote for. I'd hope it, I hope it's me, <laughs> but get out and vote. Thank, thank you. you.